only 3,790 pounds, not even 3,800 pounds dry weight. A little 192 Freedom Express like the new ones that we have here at Halet RV just came in on trade. One owner, just exceptionally well kept. They used it quite a bit, had a good time, and they were just ready to get up to something that had uh, a little bit more size, luxury, and comfort. Not that there's anything wrong with this coach, it's just they wanted one a little bit bigger. Um, you are not inheriting someone else's problems. Uh, very well kept. I see all sorts of preventative maintenance. I see no signs of harsh use or damage or a lack of upkeep and care. In fact, I actually see prevent like active preventative care, like the little mud dauber screens on the furnace. And they even added a spare tire cover to the undermounted spare tire right here to make sure it always stayed uh, protected from the wind, rain, snow, weather, etc., to just a, a maximum possible degree. And inside, it will continue to impress. One of the more popular aspects of this floor plan, uh, the Freedom 192 here, is its ability to be fully accessed with the slide-out closed, as it is currently. This camper doesn't even need to have a slide-out. The slide-out just makes it nicer when you get to your destination. Now, the slide-out plus the taller ceilings on these give this little camper a great big feel when she's opened up. And when the slide opens up, you just get that big spacious feel and a little couple's camper. Now part of what's doing that is something I mentioned earlier is taller ceilings. Freedom Express is um, not long before this was built actually went taller than uh, a normal ultralight. Most ultralights are six and a half foot tall walls. This is three inches taller at six foot nine. That allows for taller slide out, bigger cabinets, and a taller shower which are all things as a bigger person I really appreciate. Now, uh, you see all sorts of uh, LED lights in here, uh, all LED interior lighting. I like that extra skylight above the bed. Um, that is a, a longer, full 80-inch residential length bed, so you do have uh, the ability to upgrade to um, you know, a normal mattress or get sheets that fit that more easily. Now, you'll also find out, because the slide-out is actually located above the floor, there is no need for any sort of carpeted flooring in this Freedom Express, so this is an exceptionally easy cleaning camper. You don't even really need a dustpan or anything. I guess you could flip stuff out the door, but easy to also Swiffer clean if you're so inclined. Folks actually were camping in this just last night. This is in basically camp condition. We haven't like gone through and detailed it. They were just really decent folks who took care of their stuff, which is always nice to see. Now, uh, there is uh, storage below the master bed right there. It actually, uh, normally it wouldn't have like any sort of easy lift system, but the previous owners installed a couple real simple sort of um, almost like folding table leg locks just to keep it propped up. It was actually really inexpensive and really smart how they did it. And it's something I'm going to pay attention to because that might be something we can uh, kind of use here at our dealership. Very effective. Full length hanging closets and uh, you've got full overhead storage as well. So it's, you know, this isn't the biggest camper in the world. We don't have a full fifth wheel bedroom side here, but we're also, you know, not hurting for personal camping storage space. Now this TV up here, um, it can swing out and pivot down to face the sofa. It can face the master bed. Um, so you always get a good angle at this. It's not going to be a neck wrecker. If the TV swing arm out were just a little bit longer, you could probably technically watch TV from the toilet and you might still be able to pull it off. I don't know. Uh, down below, Bluetooth, DVD, stereo, when that first started to become a, uh, a pretty darn popular thing. But it's really the kitchen that kind of takes this one home. Like the living space, the open space, the, the feel, the lightweight nature is nice of it uh, in this camper right here. But when you see how much storage there is to it, it's the it's the one that just really drives it home for a lot of folks. And then, ba blam! It opens right up, and you see that this little camper has got a pretty big, uh, you know, attitude when it comes to the kitchen stuff. There's a lot of kitchen goodness going on here. Um, starting with these uh, full extension drawers, it's nice that you know they're plywood box, a little bit higher grade, and you'll notice kind of a, a nice little upgrade going on. Not a high dollar upgrade, just a smart money upgrade with the sealed edge thermal foil countertops that we're looking at. So, um, you know, if you happen to splish splash water around the sink, it can't really, you know, do any countertop damage. Now, um, over here, below the sink level, first of all, they gave you all the storage space they possibly could. Now you see that there's a little divider there on the uh, the right side. It's probably protecting something like a water pump. But up here, we've got the utensil drawer, the old Freedom Express utensil drawer. And it is the best use of space under an RV sink I've ever seen because it actually wraps right around the sink bowl if you see the little middle cutaway. 
and it gives you a purpose-built fork, spoon, knife, etc. utility drawer with a little uh, easy removable tray down here that you can quickly and easily pop stuff out. Now, it looks like the previous owners swapped out the, some of the original little faucet end hardware here for something that they could kind of crank and angle and spray around a little bit, which worked a little bit better for them. A little bit nicer... Uh, stone cast sink, which is rated for up to 500 degrees, so you can literally pour scalding water in it because water evaporates before that. Big kitchen breeze window, and notice that it tilts open for airflow, so it's very functional on a rainy day. Now, um, there's little kind of, ooh, let me get away from that window, little storage pockets kind of uh, below the TV there, perfect for like phone charger stations, but the taller interior also allows for taller cabinets, so those bigger things like iced tea pitchers and jugs, or, you know, even if you put a little shelf organizer in here, there's more space. You can always find something to do with more space than less space. And over here, right by the door, we've got a couple really nice features. We've got a handy, like, extra pantry right here. So what I like too is it recesses back a little bit so it's not in your face when you first walk in the door and I need to clean my camera lens constantly. It's a dust bowl out here. And then one of my other little favorite parts of the kitchen is just a handy little built-in space for a small little wastebasket. And that is just one of those cute, handy, extra little detail things that tells me that people who build, design Freedom Expresses, they're not just, um, you know, engineers. This is built and designed by people that actually go camping, and it shines through so well. So moving on from there, we've got this nice, big, open, expansive living space. And, uh, you know, we've got a taller ceiling. We've got lots of room. We've got all kinds of leg room in front of the sofa. It's got a nice little lounging experience right here. And if we look at the top of the slide out, you can see that we've got, uh, you know, a full overhead cabinet. Plus, that is a full breeze through window right across from the kitchen. You get great cross breezes through here. But where do you eat? What do you do when it's time to eat? Well, with that in mind, they actually uh, include a little fold-away uh, table that hides under the master bed, the foot of the master bed in that storage I told you about, so that when you are ready to eat, you actually have a nice little floating dining arrangement, and that could even go outside for picnic time. And then, if we have a guest over for the weekend, voila, we have a little grandkid bed right here. Or maybe you got a dog and you want to throw a blanket up there. That's good for dogs. This is a great camper for pets because it's carpetless and it's very easy to keep clean with no vents in the floor to collect hair and debris and skittles and knickknacks and etc. etc. Now, I mentioned something previously, but circling back to the fact that we are a taller camper uh, is one of my favorite aspects of it because at 6'3", I can stand in the shower of this thing without my head banging against the ceiling, and man, is that just one of those hot button items for me. Now, you see we have both a power vent fan and a skylight. It's not a, uh, a corner cut small bathroom. It's just a small bathroom. It has all the full bathroom features, just kind of condensed right down so that it's 10 pounds of bathroom and a five pound sack. And they even have that toilet on a little bit of an angle so that you actually do get to enjoy some of this nice leg room here. And more of that sealed edge countertop space in the bathroom kind of finishes it up um, so that, uh, you know, the whole thing is just kind of a, a notch above with a, a little bit more thought applied to it, and dang it if this thing isn't clean. It's kind of funny, I'm not good with cars. Like, if you tell me, like you look at a car, somebody like, oh, that's a 67 uh, Mustang, I don't know, whatever. They can tell by looking at it what it is. I can kind of do that with campers. Like, I can look at this, and I can say, this was made during Coachman's 49th year in business. And I can just kind of tell that by the shape, the color, the appointments, the decals. It's just sort of funny. Anyway, it has nothing to do with this camper, um, other than the fact that, you know, it's it's still of the more current modern generation of Freedom Express. Now, this is a very easy camping model. It looks like the previous owner swapped down a power tongue jack there. You may also notice that we've got just a, a maximum length power awning. Um, not a long coach, so they couldn't put like a 30-foot power awning on it, obviously, but they put the biggest awning on it that they could, and by and large, it looks all right. Those are also tilt-adjustable awning arms. You can kind of pull one side down and lock it in place if you want a little bit of that. Now, um, the uh, let's let's zero in over here real quick. There's a lot to cover on this little guy. Um, that's kind of one of the things I like about this. This is a small camper, but very feature-packed. So you've got the self-storing little hideaway Coleman camp grill here. What's nice about these, 
is it's a high output grill, meaning a, a general campground breeze is not going to blow out the flame on this. And it's a real grill, not a cooktop. You can actually do grilling on it, which is great. And again, preventative items like the little mud dauber screens to keep the bugs out of the furnace and stuff like that. Uh, and outside TV hookups. If you uh, want to bring a TV out here, have a little outside tailgate station, she will get the job done. Now, Freedom Express was one of the first, maybe the first, lightweight travel trailer brand that made big floor plans, big open spaces, cavernous, expansive areas like this. And uh, like this has roughly a 42 cubic foot amount of storage space in just this front pass through alone. That is one of those things that since then you've seen a lot of other brands try to try to match this like with the bigger floor plans the deeper slides they still don't build uh usually the taller ceilings or the, uh you know everything exactly as large as the freedom express but we're still under 3800 pounds how have they made it bigger but lighter it still has a full walk-on roof you know it's got the uh, aluminum structure laminated walls and floor that helps but one of the secrets to the freedom express sauce is the Asdell aspect of their laminated wall panels because it makes the it, it's lighter than wood basically, and the Asdell material itself is, cannot rot, mold, or mildew. Um, it is extremely good for making this wall like ex exceptionally water resistant. Now um, up front, you see the uh, we already mentioned how it had that spare tire cover on on the front there, but the fact that the spare tire is under the front tongue is not a common thing in the business, but it's there for a few reasons. One is load equalization, meaning weight in front of the axle, like the spare tire, instead of being mounted on the rear bumper, weight in front of the axles tows better and sways less and bounces less than weight behind the axles. Um, and that also leaves the rear bumper open if you want to add like bike racks and stuff. So our slide out walls have a, a rough textured skin to them so they seal grip very well. Now, um, again, the folks were camping on it just last night and campgrounds never seem to have nice clean driveways. So we got a little campground dust on them here, but the tires are not weather checked. There's a lot of rubber left on these sneakers. None of this uh, shows any sort of irregular wear patterns. This has been very well maintained. Single sewer outlet is also very handy here so that you don't have two different poles to deal with. Not that I think that's ever really a deal breaker, but um, it's just a convenience item. Uh, full outside utility shower right there, so if you're cleaning fish or hosing off the dog or just rinsing off your own feet or something, if you took a sandy walk around a beach or trails, handy little spot there. Um, like I said, the roof is fully walkable. You, you don't see a ladder on the back of these. That's something that in just really the last couple recent years, more and more and more folks have said, we need ladders on these. So like if you see our new Freedom Expresses here at Haylet RV, you're going to find ladders on the back of them uh, pretty much now. Double entry step, bigger entry handle, make coming and going easy. She is locked, stocked, ready to camp. Well, I guess not stocked. There's nothing in the cabinets other than the original owner's manuals. <laughs> you get the idea. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between, we do everything here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. This is sharp. This is very sharp.